Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and the first question of the day soon after the island of Hawaii rose above the sea surface, somewhat less than 1 million years ago, the evolution of life on this new island should have been most strongly influenced by and you have to choose one of these answers. Now I want you to pay attention to this picture and you see here major islands of Hawaii archipelago, those all islands together collectively are called Hawaiian Islands, but this island alone called Hawaii, or Hawaiians call it also Big Island in order to specify and uh, define this island, because each island here has its own name. And the capital here on the island of Oahu, which is Honolulu. If you take a look, closer look at this picture, you would notice that each island rose from the uh, ocean at a different time. For example, Kauai is uh, 5.1 million years old, and for example, Oahu is 3.7 million years old, and for example, Maui is 1.3 million years old, and Big Island is only 0.4 million years old. So you see that from this island and to here, all islands getting older. That means that somewhere over here there is a place which we call hotspot where all islands originated and then they moved to the north and for example here also you can find islands but they are going to be under the water and all this archipelago goes up to the Alaska but all the range, mountain ridge is going to be under the water. By the way, Big Island is still growing and its size is growing due to volcanic activity. Now let's think this island is 5.1 million years old. That means it was populated first. Then when this island arose almost 1.5 million years later, because the distance here is pretty small, so there was migration of species from this island to this one and then from this island to all this and when half a million years ago big island arose from the ocean then we had a uh, movement of species from this islands to this island so most of the species both animals and also plants came to the big island from the neighboring islands. And of course, some of the species came directly from the other continents. So as you see, the evolution of life on this new island should have been most strongly influenced by the founder effect. And next question, a population of organisms will not evolve if, and we have to choose one of these variants. Let's check variants of the answers. A. The population size is large. B. All individual variation is due to only environmental factors. C. The environment is changing at relatively slow rate and population lives in a habitat without competing species present. Usually all animals are fighting for the space under the sun, for the sources of food and this helps the species to evolve when fittest would uh, live and those which has least fitness would die. But this is not necessary that if population doesn't have competing species that it's not going to evolve because there are a number of other factors both abiotic and biotic which affect population and presence of the competing species is only going to be one of those factors. For the same reason, we reject variant C, the environment is changing at relatively slow rate. Species would evolve even if environment is not going to change because there are a number of other uh, factors that affect population. Variant D, population size is large. Large size leads to stability of the population and small uh, leads to change in allelic frequencies just due to random factors. But again, large population size is not a guarantee that 
population is not going to evolve. It's just going to be more stable than small population. But variant P, all individual variation is due to only environmental factors would be the best choice here because it says that in this population there is no genetic variation and all variation only due to environmental factors. And how we define evolution? I like most simple statement. Evolution is a change in allelic frequencies from one generation to another one. And if all individuals in population would be genetically uniform, that means that the whole generation is going to be inbred, that means that all of these individuals would have the same fitness. And in such population, we are not going to see survival of fittest and change in allelic frequency. So this population is not going to evolve. And this is all for today. Subscribe and see you in the next video. Goodbye.